arithmetic sequence. This another subtopic for arithmetic sequence is the end term of an arithmetic sequence. Another topic for math 10. Okay, a sequence in which a constant d is added to the previous term to get the next term is called an arithmetic sequence. And that constant is called as the common difference. And if you still remember this common difference, it's represented by d. Okay, so we have this activity. For each arithmetic sequence, identify the first term, common difference, and the next term in the sequence. Okay, first we have 2, 5, 8, and 11. Number 2, we have 1, 1 and 1 third, 1 and 2 third, 2, 2 and 1 third. And for the third sequence, we have 12, um, 17, 12, 7, and 2. Okay, so we have for the table showing the answers for the pre uh, previous activity that we have. Okay, so this first column, these are the sequences, the three sequences. This one is the first term, common difference, and the next term. So for the first sequence, our first term is 2. Common difference is 3. How did we get 3? That is 5 minus 2, that's 3. 8 minus 5, that's 3. 11 minus 8, that is also 3. And since our common difference is 3, we will add this 3 to 11 to get the next term. So 11 plus 3, and that is 14. So our next term is 14. Now for the second sequence, that is this one. So our first term is 1. This one, okay, here. And our common difference is 1 third. To get one third, we will um, subtract one and one third by one. So that is one third. Another one and two third minus one and one third, that's also one third, and so on. So to get the next term, we will add this one third, our common difference, to the last term here. So two and one third plus one third, and that is two and two thirds. So this is our next term of the given sequence. For the third, we have first term is 17, so this one. And our common difference is negative 5. How did we get negative 5? That is 12 minus 17, that's negative 5. 7 minus 12, that's also negative 5. And 2 minus 7, that's negative 5. Now to get the next term, we have 2 plus negative 5, and that is negative 3. So the next term of this sequence is negative 3. Okay. Next, we have this one. Okay. The n term of an arithmetic sequence with first term being represented by a sub 1. And the common difference, as d, is given by this one. So this is the so-called n term of our sequence. Okay. N term is equal to the first term plus quantity of N minus 1 times D, where we have A sub N, that's the N term, or the last term, and A sub 1, this one, is the first term. We have D, that is the common difference, and N, that is the number of terms. Okay, take note of these things. So this is the end term of our arithmetic sequence. Now, we will apply that end term. So using the formula below, we can find the value of any term of an arithmetic sequence without evaluating all the previous terms. Okay, so for example, we will be asked to find the 50th term, the 80th term, or the 1000th term of a particular sequence. We don't need to evaluate all the terms before that. So to make it easy and quick, we are going to apply this nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Okay, how to do that? Example number one, find the 13th term of the sequence. Okay, our sequence is 3, 7, 11, 15, 19. So we don't need to evaluate, continue up to 13th term, but instead we will apply the nth term of our arithmetic sequence, this one. Okay, substituting n term, that's the 13th term. So the last term 
of this particular sequence is the 13th term since this is the term that we are looking for. So n here will be substituted with 13. Our first term, that is 3, plus n. How many terms are there in this particular sequence? So that's 13, since we are looking for the 13th term. So our n here is 13, minus 1, and our common difference is 4. How did we get 4? That is, again, 7 minus 3, that's 4. 11 minus 7, that's 4. 15 minus 11, that's 4. So that's our common difference. Okay, next is we are going to simplify. 13 minus 1, and that is 12. Next, 12 times 4, that's 48. And 48 plus 3, that is 51. So therefore, the 13th term of our sequence is 51. Okay. Another example. Number 2. Find the 13th term of the sequence 24, 22, 20, 18. Okay, so we don't need to evaluate all the terms up to the 30th term, but instead, we will only apply the nth term of our arithmetic sequence. So again, we have this nth term of our arithmetic sequence. Substituting, we have n term, that's the 30th term. This is what we are looking for, the 30th term. First term is 24. n. Since we are looking for the 30th term, so obviously there are 30 terms of our sequence. So n here is 30 minus 1 times d. d here is negative 2. Again, how did we get negative 2? That is 22 minus 24 is negative 2. 20 minus 22, that's also negative 2 and so on. So that is our d, negative 2. Next, we are going to subtract. 30 minus 1, so that is 29. And 29 min times negative 2, that's negative 58. Then, negative 58 plus 24, that's negative 34. So therefore, the 30th term of our sequence is negative 34. Okay, get it? Is it clear enough? Okay, so we will simply substitute the given values and then simplify okay for the third example we have find the 25th term of the sequence x 4x 7x 10x okay so our n term of arithmetic sequence this one we will substitute a sub n here, the n term is the 25th term. So this will be a sub 25. n will be replaced with 25, that, that one. First term is x, this one. Plus n, since we are looking for the 25th term, so therefore there are 25 terms in all for this particular sequence. So our n is 25 minus 1. Common difference, d, not, d here is 3 x. Okay, how did we get 3x? That is 4x minus x. That's 3x. 7x minus 4x. That's 3x. 10x minus 7x. That's also 3x. So our d is 3x. Next, simplify. Okay, we will only copy this one. A sub 25. This one, x plus 25 minus 1. That is 24. Okay. And then, 24 times 3x, that is 72x. And x plus 72x, and that is 73x. So therefore, the 25th term of our sequence is 73x. Example number 4. Find the 34th term of the sequence. 1, 1 and 1 third, 1 and 2 third, 2, 2 and 1 third. Okay, so again, we will be using the nth term of the arithmetic sequence. So we will be looking for the 34th term. So therefore, we will have here a sub 34. And here will be replaced with 34. Our first term is 1 plus n is 34 since we are looking the 34th term. So therefore, there are 34 terms of our sequence. So our n, or there are a total number of 34 terms. So our n is 34 minus 1 times 
common difference, which is one third. So that is, how did we get one third? That is one and one third minus one. So that's one third. One and two third minus one and one third, that's also one third. So this is our common difference, one third. Next is, okay, we have 34 minus one, and that is 33. 33 and multiply it with one third. So what will happen next? We have 33 times one third, and that is 11. Plus one, so we have 12. Therefore, the 34th term of our sequence is 12. Okay, I hope you learned something from this. Thank you. This is Teacher Khan.